It occurs to me that a large part of, of what you talk about in terms of your own leadership is seeing the future and, and really thinking through what will come in the future. But you also talked about being versus becoming. Mm -hmm. Were there key events that helped to create a pathway that enabled you to take on this leadership role and see into the future? I lost my family structure very soon in my life, very early. Lost my father, uh, family structure just fell apart. There was no structure at all. Um, and that was the major reason when I decided to come to the United States is because of that, the lack of that structure. So if I have to, to psychoanalyze myself in order to understand why I put so much emphasis in empathy, in emotion, in making issues, even business issues, something personal, is probably because of that, of that past. And this ability of yours uh, that maybe came out of that to have deep empathy, to live in the moment, and mm -hmm. to vision for the future. And so that seems to have been part of, of your story, if you will. That leads me to the fact that you are in journalism, and journalism has had major change uh, in mm -hmm. the last several years. I mean, the whole shift to digital, the whole um, uh, move to so many different um, people being in that market space. Um, mm -hmm. So how have you dealt with the challenges, with the changes um, that are part of, of your world? Life is about death. Uh, social structures are about transformation. Otherwise, we would be kept in the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. Yes, the print business, the newspaper industry, is in a crisis of numbers out there in the streets. Is not in a crisis of what we are about, which is communicating stories. However, why don't we use crisis equals opportunity? Why don't we use sentences like, uh, what's next? How are we going to do it? My vision is very simple. My vision is my failure, is where I have not been able to accomplish, which is embed the, co the Hispanic concept, embed the Spanish language inside the Washington Post, and make the Washington Post a structure, talk with, talk to, converse with the whole hemisphere. What do you think are the leadership behaviors, capabilities that are needed to deal with this world that we're currently in? To innovate is to lead, and leading is a, it has global implications. So whatever you do is going to touch many lives, and in, in, in some businesses, in some, like in the media industry, um, it has really global implications. We need human beings who are able to communicate values. We need human beings who are able to communicate visions and missions and, uh, and put them together. And um, in that regard, we will have happier populations.